The task of our project was to develop an off-grid milk cooling solution for small dairy farmers. We are using a Steka fridge which is normally run on a battery and have modified it in such a way that it can now cool down about 40 liters per day rapidly to 4 degree. The system consists of the two solar panels which have a peak power of 400 watt. It consists of the Steka fridge itself with 240 liters of capacity and about 100 watt of cooling power. We have the milk containers with a capacity of around 20 liters of milk and room for a cooling cartridge from aluminum which is filled with ice packs which are generated inside the fridge. Additionally, because we are not using a battery but we are using ice as storage, we have a heatsink which is a hot water vessel, so we are at the same time generating hot water for hygiene needs of milk processing during the cooling operation. This system is using 30 liters of water distributed over a number of ice packs in order to enhance the thermal mass of the fridge so that we can store enough energy in form of ice to give us a cooling power large enough to cool down the 20 liters of milk in around 2.4 hours. The ice um, acts as thermal mass so it is substituting the battery, we are storing energy and we are basically magnifying the cooling power because the fridge itself would have only 100 watt of cooling power at the instant. The ice packs are located exactly in front of the cooling elements of the fridge which are running around the circumference of the fridge. So basically we are producing ice through the contact of the water directly with the cooling elements. We have 10 large ice packs which contain 2 liters of water and those are actually used for cooling down the milk because they will be filled into a cartridge. Then we have 7 small ice packs which are enhancing the thermal mass and basically serve to store energy for the fridge. In order to take out the ice packs we can either pull them out of the shelf or take out the whole shelf and then locate the ice packs we require into the cartridge. The ice packs have a trapezium shape, not a rectangular shape. This makes it rather easy to take them out of the shelves and stack them into the cartridge. The shape of the, the cross-sectional shape of the ice is trapezium shape. In order to improve the conductivity of cold into the milk, we top up the water inside the cartridge. There's a total volume of 4 liters of water which is around the ice packs. Now we place the cartridge into our milk container which contains 20 liters of milk, milking warm milk which is over 30 degrees. And then we fill the shelves again with ice packs in order to regenerate them. Those have been used to cool down milk, so most of the ice is molten. Each time we are cooling 20 liters of milk, we are exchanging four of the large ice packs.
So we're assuming that two times a day there is a requirement for cooling milk. For example, the morning milk and the evening milk. So let's say this is the morning milk and then in the evening we can place the second container with the hot milk from the evening milking. Then we would exchange the cartridge, basically removing the the ice packs which contain water and cleaning the cartridge from the outside, placing new ice packs which have in the meantime regenerated in the fridge, putting the whole cartridge into the new container and closing the old one so that it will be sufficient to transport milk away to a larger dairy facility on the next day. After placing the ice packs in their shelf we have to position the sensor which gives feedback to the thermostat in our electronics because we have to avoid that the milk gets frozen. Milk should reach 4 degrees or it could be slightly lower but it should not get frozen. So in that case the fridge would have to discontinue cooling. So we can locate the sensor either in the milk like here or we could locate it between the ice packs which is a position we have up to now preferred. The control unit has three functions. It prevents that the milk gets frozen, it provides sufficient starting current for the fridge and it manages excess energy. In order to prevent that the milk gets frozen, it receives the signal from the temperature sensor and compares it to a temperature that is set on the control panel. In this battery-less uh, design, the controller also contains a number of capacitors which provide the high starting current for the compressor. The sizing of the PV power supply is such that the fridge operates also on days which have less ideal solar conditions, for example on cloudy days, but this means that on sunny days we have excess energy the control unit manages the excess energy and makes it usable in form of hot water, for example for the hygiene of the milk vessels. It is a 6 liter vessel which is insulated because the excess power does not come instantaneously but is, needs to be accumulated throughout the day.